Good morning, YouTube. Sunday morning. It's going to be a last pond update for a little while because Wednesday I'm going to get my second back surgery. So, I figure I'd give you a quick little update. The pond's still doing really good, even after the couple storms we had. Um, the tropicals I put in, they're all doing good except for the uh, trigger fish. I got him at the pet store on discount because he was messed up and I was hoping he'd be alright but he didn't make it. Uh, I'm going to try and zoom in. The little blue one, blue and yellow one's doing good. Uh, I'm trying to find these guys are like super small in here. There's the pink one. That's weird. He was all pink when I bought him. Keeps dipping around, in and out of that pot. There he goes. Uh, now he's in there all comfortable. He's like pink with a black face. I don't know if you can see him. It's hard for me to see. Oh, there we go. See him down there? Little guy. And then... Uh, back over here see if I can get him on camera the velvet damsel he's doing good so that's all the tropicals I have in there just the three damsels and then of course the red and the, the sheep's head are all doing good School green bags still still kicking. And the little sand trout has a little I've discovered one, one little fish right there. I don't know if you can see or not. He's got a black dot on his tail. I think he's a baby red. And then there's, you know, a couple Atlantic croakers in there and all. All the oysters are doing good. Uh, everything's doing really, really good. This pond is it's pretty cool. I love having this salt water. school of greenbacks <laughs> bog area is still doing good I've been working on that little by little my son's been helping me build this little chicken coop I got four little baby chicks uh, got them for Easter so we'll grow up and have some fresh eggs There's the bog area, doing good. Some live shrimp swimming around in there. It's where I hold all the shrimp. So far, since I've been running this pump, I've only had to clean those rocks out one time. Take you around and uh, show you my homemade skimmer. That's the discharge to it. And there's the skimmer, and things doing such an awesome job. It's doing an awesome job. I don't have a catch cup because it's outside, so I just let it all drop to the ground and evaporate. But look at that. It's doing an awesome job. Still not running that because I haven't been able to pull the sand out and and put lava rock in there, so it's running on bypass. There's a shrimp under them bubbles right there. I saw them. During the daytime, most of them hide in the rocks there. 
see him out at night a lot. There you go. There's one down there. I can't. It's hard to see him with all the the bubbles. There's one. Yeah. There's probably about 30 or 40 in there. Like I said, most of the time during the day they're they're hiding in the rocks. And that's what I feed all the big boys out here with. I come out late in the evening and scoop a few out, throw them in, and the red will chase them. And Even the sheep's head chases them sometimes. Yep, that's it. She's doing really good. So, like I said, it's going to be the last update for a while because I go Wednesday for back surgery, so I'm going to be out of commission for a little bit. Keep my son working on that chicken coop. Got some for my wife to paint it and uh, my wife's been helping me out with this. Uh, I'm teaching her how to maintain it, which is really easy. There's really no maintenance. Uh, it's the only thing is just topping off the water from evaporation. We've had two really big rainstorms. I've probably gotten about uh, close to four inches of rain in two days. And uh, so really, really want, hasn't been nothing to do to it this week. I've showed her how to test the salt level in it. Salt level's still good. Uh, thanks to that edge I built around the, the pond, that lip right there is what keeps this pond from getting nasty during the rainstorms because none of that dirt and everything from the rain washes down into it and the only thing the pond catches is the the rain itself so it doesn't mess with the salinity on it um, the only thing that happens is you know when you get a couple days of bright sunshine and heat you get the evaporation so and then all you do is just add water. Now I have a uh, an RO system, uh, water treatment system on my house, so I don't have to treat it or anything. Well, I just dump the water in from the water hose. Uh, there's no chlorine or nothing in it. It's really easy to maintain. Um, I don't even go in and clean it. The the fish, uh, they'll stir up. Like most of that green that you see, that's all the seagrass and stuff that's growing up in the in the crushed uh, oyster shell that's down there. It comes up a little bit, and you know, fish pick at it and whatnot, and whatever the fish don't get, the the filter gets. So. It's very minimal maintenance on this pond. I love it. It's taken me a long time to figure out how to get it like that.